Few industries do machismo quite like automotive. Just look at what some of its highest profile executives do in their spare time. Sergio Marchioni, the boss of Fiat Chrysler, is an ace poker player. Over at Peugeot, Carlos Tavares races vintage rally cars across Africa. And Ferdinand Piesch, who once ran Volkswagen, collects ceremonial daggers. Last but not least, Elon Musk, the man behind Tesla, blasts cars into space. Big egos and big personalities can be an asset when you're trying to save a car maker in trouble, as Tavares did at Peugeot or Marcioni did at Fiat Chrysler, whilst Carlos Ghosn fixed up both Nissan and Renault. It seems dealing with creditors and governments at times of crisis is not a task for shrinking violets. But succession planning is now becoming an issue. Both Mr. Ghosn and Mr. Marcioni seem intent on picking their own successors, as Mr. Piesch often sought to do. This is a bad idea. There is a danger they will choose someone who thinks just like they do. Car makers are profitable again, but they face technological disruption and public anger over diesel pollution. Instead of more alpha male petrol heads, why not appoint more executives from other industries to boardrooms? How about more women, like General Motors CEO Mary Barra? After all, women are one of the fastest growing segments of car buyers. Automotive's macho men forced through much needed restructuring, but different personalities may be needed for the next phase of the industry's evolution.